Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to it with the camera. Now no, 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 it's slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello YouTubers, sorry for the delay from the last video, my laptop died and uh, I've been computerless for a while. Anyway, I bought one uh, recently and uh, I'm back to making another video. As you know, I have two Chinese clone longboards. Uh, the one at the top there, um, which is in the previous video, which is highly modified. And this one, which is the test board. This board has been in a lot of previous videos. It's the one that looks very rough and ready. Um, on this board, I will test all those modifications one at a time and um, see how they performed. I've um, rebuilt it into a fairly stock Chinese clone longboard with one or two differences. Um, I loaned this board out, it's a loaner, so people who are learning or friends of mine who want to borrow a board, this is the one that they get. The modifications aren't extreme, but even so, I'll give you a quick look. Let me get that case off very quickly. Um, the motor is the standard Chinese clone motor. Um, the standard sized wheels, I've not put bigger ones on this. The speed controller is the Alienware electronic speed controller. As you'll know from previous videos, this is much better than the stock speed controller with programmable acceleration and braking curves. Um, to solder it in place, I inserted the wires uh, at right angles, otherwise there wouldn't be sufficient clearance in the case. Um, to fit the speed controller. The BMS is on board, um, the reason being uh, the board is a loaner. Um, I lend it to friends who aren't experienced with these things, so I don't want to give them the hassle of having off-board charging. It'll be interesting to see how the BMS holds up with the Alienware speed controller. The battery was a problem. Um, again, if you've been following my videos, you know that I uh, literally short-circuited this power pack and one of the cells blew. Um, if you look closely you can see that this one's been taped into place. Um, this literally spewed smoke um, at one end of it. So um, a fellow YouTuber, a nice chap called Ed Bray, donated, um, kindly donated, one of his old batteries to me and uh, in it were some um, good cells. So I took um, this particular cell from his power pack and um, soldered it into place into my power pack and now this works perfectly. Again, thank you Ed. One thing I'm tempted to do, um, because it's a loner, is to put a tile Bluetooth tracking tile in this. In fact, I think I'll do that very quickly right now. Uh, that's a four pack I got a while ago. Let's take this one out. Hmm. I think that fits in there very well, nice and snug, doesn't rattle around. And there it is on my phone. Job done. So that's the almost stock Chinese clone longboard, uh, having a quick charge. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>